What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Me and my little beautiful wife right here every week are coming at you guys and bringing you guys great tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite, entice, and up your relationship to a whole new exciting level. And uh, if you're not in a relationship, don't worry because hopefully you'll get in one and you'll have all this information so you can pull it out and use it in that new relationship so it's a successful one. And you'll be doing at least your part to make it a successful one at that. So every week we come with some different topics. And, uh, you know, this last week was Thanksgiving and we had the family members over and stuff like that. So I think this topic was right along the lines of hitting home on me. And uh, I wanna get your guys' take on it and make sure you guys know how it was on you. So let's get into the topic. Yeah. So how do you think that your parents influenced your view on relationships today, right? So how do you think they affected your relationship today? Do you think they affected your relationships today? Because, you know, obviously we're a product of our environment in some circumstances or For situations, sure. scenarios. Um, and this goes a long, long way. But there are people that, you know, they go against what their environment is all the way through and through. They they recognize they want better. Um, or they and want they to do, do it better. different, right? Yeah, they want to do it different, you know. There's some people that have a great environment that don't do so good either. So there's not some one way that's right or wrong, okay, at this point. But, you know, this is this is so true, right? And for me, you know, the example set. Now, my growing up as a child was good in some sense and bad in other senses. Now, relationship-wise, I don't think that it was the best example out there. And please, Mom and Dad, don't kill me about this. <laughs> but I'm only speaking the truth, right? Um, you know, growing up, I had loving parents on both sides, right? I had a brother and the whole nine. So it was really, really good. We weren't financially strapped or anything like that. So, you know, God bless us. Um, but, you know, the internal relationship of my parents, I, I don't think that it was the most healthy relationship. You know, obviously, they were business partners, entrepreneurs, and stuff like that. So you spent a lot of time inside and outside the house. But for them, you know, it was always like, you know, eruptions in World War Three. you know, where, you know, they're fighting with each other, they're cursing at each other. You know, when we did have, um, you know, holidays, you know, Christmas, Thanksgiving, like all these things, like our house was center point to all the family members from both sides coming. And, you know, even in between there, the lines of the family members, there was conflict, you know, almost at every single holiday that I attended. You know, and yeah, there was, it's common for a lot of families. Do you, so it's common for families to have eruptions at, at all their holidays. I feel like this is a very, it's actually, people don't speak about it, right? Because it's embarrassing sometimes. But I do feel like at a lot of, because I was in the same position. There were, you know, it was like all happy. And then towards the latter part of the day, there was something that was always brought up that, yes, caused an eruption in yeah, the day. <laughs> conflict, eruption, or, you know, maybe some things that, you know, didn't, People weren't over before they came to that visit, you know, mm -hmm. and then that's where it all had to get handled. Um, so, I mean, you know, I've been I've been in, to, uh, in a lot of situations my whole life. So my thing was, was, you know, I took the good traits from my parents and I recognized the bad traits and I recognized how I didn't want that for my family when I had a family. I didn't want my son or daughter, whoever it was at that point in time, to go through some of the different things that I went through when I was growing up because it didn't make me feel good in all ways, shapes, and forms. You know, when I used to go over other people's houses and I used to see the way that their parents used to interact with each other, it was a, a lot different. 
you know and so you know it was normal for me to be growing up in that situation and it was normal to see all these things around me but when i went to other places you know and i seen the way that they were interacting with each other i felt like the odd man out i felt like man like why can't i have this why can't my parents get along or you know why, why can't they interact like this because that's not the environment that i'm going back to so you know it was, it was you know it was it's it's a learning experience all the way through and through whatever you do in life is always going to shape you mold you and become who you are but you can fight some of these different things and not make it happen for yourself in the future. So if you recognize the bad traits or the things that are going on or have went on in your past, you can utilize those things to hopefully, you know, you learn from your past and you don't commit those same bad mistakes in the future for you or your family. And uh, you're the example for your family, right? Whether you're a mom, whether you're a dad, whatever it is, even the grandparents, right? Cousins, uncles, you guys are all family and you guys will mold the younger generations that are coming through your family. They will see what's going on with you and they will try to emulate yes. these things and they might not think that they want to do it and they fall right into the root and the routine of what happened before with you or with somebody else that's in your family that they're watching and they're, they're using this as an example. Like they think this is okay. So Well, you know, it's normalcy for them, right? It, yeah, it's normalcy. Exactly. Right. It's, 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 a, it's normal for them, you know, and to be specific, you know, bringing up maybe old things that's happened before that's caused arguments and that's kind of what it is you know even when i met john i told him the same thing and we ironically had some very very similar upbringings where our parents would argue in front of us and they would scream and yell and there i mean I, I wasn't there for his matches between his parents but with my parents it was World War Three as well, you know, and it wasn't just screaming and yelling. I mean, there was things being thrown, some food outside the door. I mean, I mean, what next level type of fighting? You know, right. there's one thing to have an argument. Right. And I'm sorry, mom, in advance. Um, and I'm sure my dad's watching me from above, so I'm sorry to him too. But you know, there's 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 just regular fighting, and then there's like next level right. fighting of you know just grabbing things, throwing things, breaking things. And, you know, obviously you don't want to set that example, like John was saying, right. for the little ones because they are watching you. Right. They're watching everything you do. Right. So this goes for the same thing with the with the family gatherings yeah. is that this is your time. And I hate to put it this way, but let's be realistic. And I'm always real with you guys. This is the time to, you know, if you did have a problem with somebody, let's just say a family member, this is the time to mend it, right? You're supposed to come together and mend it. Now, if let's just say somebody's at this place and you don't really care for that person, this would be the time to fake it. Yeah, right. you're gonna fake it because you want to get through the holiday and make everybody else happy. You know, these holidays like you know Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff like that. It is supposed to be times of joy, right? right? Happiness, joy. Making memories. Making memories. Positive memories. Positive memories. Yeah. Not, you know, yelling across a table or argument across a table or bringing something up in front of, you know, other family members or whatever it might be. This is not the time for that, right? So when me and John met, one of the things we made a promise to each other is that we were never going to fight in front of our kids, mm -hmm. you know? We're never going to argue in front of Peter. You know, we don't want that for him because we don't want the hostile environment for him. Mm -hmm. We don't want him to have that same environment with his wife and his children growing up because he's going to do whatever is happening now, whether he wants to or not. He's going to it's going to gather and he's going to become that individual. And it's going to have to take him just like John did and myself to say, wait, hold on. There is this one portion of my life and one portion of what my parents did that I don't want to do. And then you have to you have to fix it, change it and change that going forward. So it changes for all the generations going forward. That's right. Because remember, it's not just your children. It's their children and their children's children and so forth. Right. And we can't say that these generations are getting any easier to train. So it, we, we might as well make it easy now and try to make it, you know, as, as, as positive as possible. All right, you set the right standard, you put the right example out so that they understand like, this is the way it should be done. Um, and then you talk to them about it too as well. I mean, you know, that's another thing. You know, you talk to your kids, you talk to your loved one about it, your partner, you know, maybe you've had these 
bad experience in the past and you vocally tell them like hey listen like i don't want this in our relationship right right when you get into it so if you guys aren't in a relationship you know and you start talking about all these different things uh the do's the don'ts and you know things that are like you know deal breakers you know this could be something you bring up if you're mm -hmm. already in a relationship right you're gonna have one or two situation scenarios the first situation is is that person agrees with you totally and everything's been good since the start the second situation is you already fell into some of these bad things. Now, what are you going to do to get out of it? That's when you really got to talk to them. You got to put an action plan into play, per se, right? I always have my action plans, plans right? Because, <laughs> you know, we can talk a good game and we can say we're sorry and all these good things. But what actions are you going to do to make a change? Right. And actions really speak louder than words, right? You like that always, one saying. Always, yeah. That, it's so I do true, say that right? very often. People can tell you, I love you. No, no, let me see your actions because your actions are going to truly me, tell me. Show me, don't tell me. Exactly. Show you, not tell me. So, you know, these are different things that you want to do. Now, you know, I would challenge you guys to really think about your past, right, and your childhood possibly. And, you know, if it was good, was it bad, I'm sorry, you know, but revisit that and, and really think about what you went through and think about has it affected the way that you get into relationship and how your relationship is today? And are there things that you might want to change because now you're realizing like, oh, my God, like. I'm just like my dad or I'm just like my mom or just like this relationship. Like, this is not what I want to be with right. or this is not what I want to get into, right? So, I mean, you know, you should you should really look at that because people do follow trends too. So when you get into the trend of, let's say, you know, people that have, have abusive parents or abusive dads, girls, they fall into the trend of going to abusive men because that's all they know. Well, they think, that's that that's, they think that that's normal, right? right? So you saw that your mom was constantly screamed at, yelled at, maybe beaten or whatever it might have been. So then you get into a relationship, it's happening to you at this point. And instead right. of you saying, hold on, wait, this is, I'm not going to accept this. You end up accepting it thinking that it's normal because you grew up like that. Right. So, and it's not okay, right? It's not okay. You want to be able to treat women with respect, right? And the same thing goes for a guy. Just because we're women doesn't mean that we're the ones that only get respect and that's how it goes. Respect is a two way street. You need to respect him, he needs to respect you. That's how it's supposed to go. So it's, it's 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 important. It's it important is. that you guys are implementing these things and you guys are recognizing it and that you guys are able to pick it out, point it, and then fix it. Mm -hmm. So that way, you know, you could be better. The whole point, right, and we say this all the time, right, and I know John, is, he knows what I'm going to say right now, but the whole point is that every generation is supposed to get better. And you, we always tell Peter, he's like, oh, you know, I did this better than you, and I'm getting better at this, and yada, yada, yada. You know, the 13-year-old teenage boy talk, right? So, you know, I'm like, listen, the whole point is for you to be better. Right. Like, I want you to be better than me. I want you to do more than I do. I want you to make more money than me. Yes. I want you to have a better education than I did. Yes. I want you to have things that I didn't have. I want you to be able to provide your kids with everything that maybe I couldn't provide you. It's it, it's all supposed to be getting better and better and better. It's that's not right. supposed to degrade over the years. That's right. It's supposed to get better, only that's better. That's right. And that's, that's how it really should be. And you should want better for you. You should want better for your family, your kids, um, and the whole thing. I mean, for your partner especially. So, you know, really look at yourself. Look and evaluate your relationship. If there's things you guys want to change, then change them. Do it now. Don't say, oh, I'm going to wait till next week or I'll see how it goes. Change it now, right? Have the communication with your partner. So I hope you guys have liked this show. Um, and, you know, every week we're bringing you guys great tips and tricks to help you guys out. And, of course, if you guys are not feeling looking your best or feeling your best, <laughs> then Tight Medical Center is going to be able to help you guys out. So if you guys want to call or text us, we can help you guys out feeling good, looking good, and performing your I best. I mean, listen, if you guys are having the mood swings, right? I mean, come on. Maybe you need your hormones you get checked. Getting older, right? Or you're not maybe liking the way that you're looking, you know? In the you mirror, might need to get your so hormones weight. checked. You get can some do blood work. Loss, do all types of different things. <laughs> So, guys, make sure you guys are tuning in to us every week, 11 a.m. on ABC and DVR. And if you can't watch it live, and if you can't do either one of those, go over to YouTube, type in Tight Medical Center, watch all these great episodes and a lot of other cool content that we got for you guys. We'll see you guys next week on another Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. on ABC. I appreciate you guys. We love you guys, and we're out. Thanks, guys.